Hey guys, Justin Bryan here from SelfMadeSuccess.com and in this video I'm going to go over the 10 best productivity tools of 2016. These are all online tools that you can use on your computer and in many cases on your smartphone as well. And they're all either free or very low cost so you don't have to worry about having to uh, break the bank to afford these. They can help you save time, they can help you save uh, money, help you get more done in your business, help you automate a lot of things and things like that. So the first one is Evernote and if you don't know what Evernote is you can go to Evernote.com and you'll see that they do a lot of um, work with brainstorming and taking down ideas and just taking notes on everything and compiling um, images and screenshots and links and text and blog posts from different places as you go throughout your day you probably have all kinds of ideas and things that you want to revisit later and Evernote is the perfect tool for that I use it every day and I definitely recommend it to you you can even start for free just go to evernote.com and it'll tell you a little bit about it that you can uh, you can even share your notes you can organize pretty much anything you want into bullet points, into numbered lists, into images, into videos, into um, audios, all kinds of stuff. So it's literally the best way to take notes on anything and uh, be able to retrieve your notes if something happens to your phone or your computer because you can just sign into your account. So I definitely recommend Evernote. Uh, number two is the Google Calendar. Okay, so as far as calendars, pretty much everyone has some kind of calendar as a um, high-level employee or as an entrepreneur. But Google Calendar, I've found, is probably still the best one you can get. So you can go to Google Google.com/calendar, and you can get it on your phone, um, and you can use it on your computer but it allows you to um, schedule everything the way um, you want to schedule it. It allows you to do recurring scheduled events. If you do things every Wednesday night, if you do things every Saturday, whatever it is, you can schedule birthdays for people that are come you know, once a year so you remember people's birthdays, which is one thing I have a hard time remembering. Um, so it's great for that and it allows you to kind of categorize different tasks so that you don't have to just uh, guess which one is which. It can color code them, and you can add pictures to them, you can add uh, all kinds of stuff to these events, make them recurring and you can look at it on different devices so that you can always be keeping up with it whether you're at home, whether you're at the office, or whether you're on the go. So Google Calendar is free and I definitely recommend you use that. Number three is Google Docs. Uh, Google Docs is also free. All you have to do is get a Gmail account, which is you know just Google's version of email, and then you get a free a certain amount of storage with Google Docs, which Google Docs includes um, like the, the Google version of Microsoft Office basically where you can do documents, Word documents, um, you can do spreadsheets, you can do um, slideshow presentations which this slideshow right here is actually on Google Docs so I use Google Docs a lot. Um, I love their spreadsheets, I love how simple it is. Um, Excel and all these other Microsoft ones are great, but the thing is they're so much more complicated because they have they almost have too many options for me and I like the clean design, I like the uh, simplicity and of course you can always add on templates, you can add on other things that are crowdsourced so you can always come up with new templates and codes that you can put in to uh, do different tasks that might not come on Google Docs, but it's free. It's got all kinds of stuff. It's like a free version of Microsoft Office that's actually more modern and simpler to use. So, and like I said, with some of the other tools, um, with this one, you can actually, um, you know, 
lose your laptop or lose your phone and you can still access it because it's all in an account. Number three or number four is SaneBox. So everybody's got email um, and most likely you're getting a ton of emails just like everyone else. I get thousands of emails a month and SaneBox is one of the great uh, tools for organizing your inbox to where you're not so overwhelmed by emails all the time and it works by uh, allowing you to tell it how to um, how to organize everything like what kind of emails to look for what kind of emails to put off till later and things like that to where you don't have to always be looking at you know constant spam emails and constant social media updates and all these you know low level emails instead you can organize things to where you only see the most important ones and then you can check the other ones later and you have multiple folders for that kind of stuff but uh, Tony Robbins is one person who swears by this tool and you know he's a big productivity guy and personal development strategist so um, SaneBox is definitely one of the best tools for organizing your email. Number five is IFTTT, which stands for If This Then That. And this is what I think is one of the coolest tools out there right now. And what it does is it allows you to automate things by just making rules or what they call recipes um, using IFTTT. So for, pro for productivity purposes, you can do things like faster scheduling, you can catalog email, you can sync things, you can do, um, you can see how you're spending your time, you can make checklists and to-do lists and things like that, you can do reminders, you can do all kinds of stuff, so, but it does it all automatically, it's using, it's using uh, software, so you don't have to worry about having like a personal assistant or anything and it's always working for you when you need it. All you have to do is you have like an if then recipe and you tell it if this happens then do this. So it can take care of a lot of tedious and um, low level uh, tasks that you constantly have to do and it can really save you a lot of time. So I definitely recommend you try out if this then that. Uh, number six is pocket which if you're an internet user, which you probably are, especially watching this video, um, Pocket is one of the best ways to organize things that you want to read later. So if you want to um, read certain blog posts about different things later and um, you want to uh, just, you know, make sure you get your work done now or make sure you get whatever you're doing now done, but don't want to um, forget about those blog posts or those articles, those videos, those images, whatever it is. You can put it off to later and you can have them in lists. You can go by tags, by categories, and then you can also see recommended ones based on what you usually save, all using Pocket, which works on your desktop or on your phone. So you can look at it wherever you are, whatever device you're using. And it just allows you to save all the um, content that you see online and be able to see it later, check it off when you've looked at it so that it archives it, but um, it doesn't delete it. But if you want to delete it, you can. There's a lot of different things you can do. Uh, you can share it. You know, you can archive it after you've read it. You can delete it. You can edit the tags and you can favorite it if it's one of your favorite pieces of content. So it's, it's just a great way to organize when you see videos, when you see um, blog posts and things like that that you want to revisit later that you don't have time for right now. You can look at that later and it's all organized. Number seven is Hootsuite, which Hootsuite is great for a lot of different things social media wise and um, it allows you to not only automate posting on social media but it allows you to uh, actually organize a dashboard where you can have all your social media messages from Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook 
and all this place is in one place so that you can check all your messages at once you can check all your news feeds at once in one tab and you can just kind of combine your social media into one place to organize and to manage it so it really saves you a lot of time it really helps things be more organized and as far as social media goes Hootsuite's definitely one of the best tools out there so I definitely recommend you try it and they do have a free version number eight is Trello which Trello is also a really cool tool and it allows you to kind of get more done to kind of oversee uh, the different things going on in your business or in your personal life um, by kind of organizing it in a Pinterest like dashboard so you can look kind of like how you would look at your Hootsuite dashboard and you can see all your messages in one place all your news feeds in one place this works without just limiting it to social media but it allows you to do ideas you can have your to-do list you can have your things that you've uh, done you got your uh, calendar maybe you can have people that you need to talk to and your contacts list you can have all these different things going on in one page to where it just keeps up with everything you need to look at and uh, throughout the day so Trello just is a really great way to organize all the things you're trying to get done and uh, keep up with number nine is rescue time so definitely a time saving tool that allows you to um, kind of let you know where you're spending your time the most it gives you uh, graphs that show you okay I spent this much time um, on this device this much time on that device I spent this much time on these apps I spent these this much time on these websites I've spent this much time being productive and it gives you reports and very detailed analytics that tell you exactly what you've been doing so that you can kind of fix things and work on your own productivity based on this so it's it's a really good for self-awareness it's really good for helping your productivity it's really good for saving you time by showing you exactly what you're doing now and what you need to work on so uh, rescue time is a really great time saving app and last but not least is LastPass so we all have a lot of passwords we all have a lot of accounts free and paid and of course we want them to be secure but it's hard to remember all these passwords all the time so LastPass is actually one of the better more secure services for this it's recommended by big companies like Lifehack like, like uh, Lifehacker and all these different sites <coughs> but um, they have different levels that you can try uh, you can try it free you can do the premium or enterprise just kind of depends on what you need but um, it helps you remember your passwords and keep track of them without having to worry about whether they're secure or not or have to come up with something different all the time every time you have to change your password and it just keeps you um, very organized and it's really very cheap because I mean premium is a dollar a month enterprise two dollars a user per month so really you know it's definitely worth it with all the things you get and um, you know it's unlimited devices synced all to one account it has a family folder they have plenty of great support uh, people to work with and you know they just keep it as secure as possible while allowing you to not have to remember every single password for every single account so I definitely recommend LastPass if you have a lot of passwords um, and that's pretty much it for this video so if you learned about some tools that you didn't already know about and you think are pretty cool don't forget to like and subscribe so I can bring you more great videos like this to just kinda give you some cool tools to use um, help you boost your productivity and things like that if you wanna let me know some other tools that you enjoy in the productivity space or let me know what your favorite one is here or what you thought about the video you can leave a comment below and if you want to contact me directly if you want to get some uh, blog posts that really go in depth in this kind of stuff um, or if you want to take some courses on how to be your most productive self or get some other tools to try you can go to selfmadesuccess.com other than that hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great day